Hey everyone, let's learn how to make the fancy leaves inside Blender. So when you're playing Minecraft and you turn on the fast, aka the low graphics, you can see the trees look like this, which is not that pretty. And when you turn on the fancy settings, you can see trees look like this. And especially the thing you notice is the face, which is looking away from us, it's not visible. So that's what we should replicate in Blender in order to replicate this look in Minecraft and also in order to make our scene better. And after that, we can add some translucency. And after that, we can add some translucency to make the scene go from this to this. As you can see, the second one has more light and it looks a lot prettier. So let's begin. So first thing we need to do is obviously import our world inside Blender and then prep materials. You can either prep materials using MC Prep or MC Blend as well. If you don't know what MC Blend is, it's an add-on made by Aspirata for Minecraft animations. And if you want to see the video, the link will be in the description. Also, while you are in the description, you might as well check out the Patreon and the Discord as well. And also, if you don't know how to import the worlds inside Blender, there will also be a video about that in the description. So after I import my world inside the Blender, I'm going to split the screen. And then on the left side of the screen, I'm going to open the shader editor. I'm going to click on end to get rid of this menu. And if I select the leaves, grass or anything, you can see the materials that are created over here. So I'm going to select the old leaves at first. And what I'm also going to do is go inside the material view. And when I'm making changes, they're going to be visible inside the material view. Now, if I zoom in on this oak leaf, and then if I look at this from this view, you can see the face above is still visible, which we don't really want. So if I go up here, this face can be visible. But when I'm down here, especially from the camera view, the faces which are looking away from us, like this one, for example, and this one should not be visible. So first thing we need to do in order to replicate the fancy look, we're going to add the back face calling. And after that, we're going to add a translucency. So I'm going to go inside my camera view so that I can see all the changes I'm making. And in this scene, I have oak leaves and also the birch leaves. But you can make this on any type of leaves if you want. So I'm going to select the oak leaves. And when you are in the shading workspace, shading shader editor, we can go next to the principal BSDF and then click on shift A and then search for mix shader. And then plug the mix shader between the principled and the material output. Now, if this two screen method is uncomfortable for you, then you could go inside the shading workspace as well. And then here you can see we have this 3D view. And then below this, we have the shading and you can do all the changes from here as well. And you can go inside the camera view and do whatnot. But I like to go inside the layout and split the screen from here. Now, after I added the mix shader, I'm going to go below this, click on shift A and then add transparent. So I'm going to add the transparent over here and then plug this in the shader of the mix shader. Now go above and then click on shift A and then let's search for geometry. And we're going to place the geometry on top. And then what we need to do is select the back facing of geometry and then plug this inside the mix shader. And now if you notice when we're looking from the leaves from this side, we don't see the face which is looking away from us. It's empty from here. Same goes from here and then for all the other leaves as well. If we go inside the other trees as well, you can see it has the same thing applied. Now, if I remove these nodes, for example, I disable them, I'm going to click them and then click on M to mute them. We don't have any back face calling. But if I click on M again to unmute the nodes, you can see all the changes we've applied. And that's going to look a lot better in the final render. Now, another thing we need to do is add the translucent. Now, another thing we need to do is add the translucency which is going to make this a lot better. So if I go inside the rendered view, you can see that I have the simple scene with an HDR and a sunlight and the sunlight is shining from here. Now the leaf by default, it doesn't allow the light to pass through it. That's why the shadow is way too harsh over here. And that's why there's like not a lot of light visible on the side of the tree where the sun is hitting. So if we add the translucency, it's going to make it a lot better. So I'm going to select the leaf and adding translucency. And adding translucency is super easy. So first I'm going to left click drag and then move the nodes on the right side. And then what I'm going to do is click on shift A and then search for add shader. Not a mix shader, but an add shader. And then plug this over here. And then below the add shader, we're going to create translucent. So let's create the translucent BSDF. And then left click, place it over here. And then select the translucency and then plug this into the shader. And then you notice the trees turn white because they don't have the texture on the translucency. So I'm going to select this image or the diffuse texture over here. Take the color and then plug this inside the color of translucency. And now one thing you might notice is the leaves become a lot brighter. Again, I'm going to take these nodes, select the translucency and the add shader, mute them. 
and then you can see all the changes we're making so this this tree looks very dark by default but if i added translucency you can see it becomes a lot brighter and it allows the light to shine through it and also when we added the back face calling and added the translucency as well you can see it created the natural gobo effect so we can create these natural looking shadows which looks very very good in the final render now if i take all of these and then mute them again you can see the shadow is very harsh so i'm gonna mute them and then you can see the shadow is more like a square it doesn't look as good but if i unmute them you can see the shadow becomes a lot better and by the way i'm going to turn on the denoising in the viewport as well because it's going to make things look a lot better and now we can make all the changes to the other leaves and to the grass as well now we want to add the translucency to the grass as well but we don't want to add any back face calling so when we select the grass we can go inside the materials again all the other materials put on the right side and we're only going to add the translucency so i'm going to click on shift a add shader plug this between the principled and material output now select the translucency and then drag this in the add shader over here and i'll select the image texture or the diffuse texture of the grass and then plug this inside the color and now you can see the grass becomes a lot brighter as well and now you can do this for other vegetation as well for example you can do this for grass for flowers and any other type of vegetation but if you're too lazy for example now i think this is pretty easy to do so you just add the add shader and translucent and for the leaves you add these first you add the back face calling and then the add shader and translucency but if you're too lazy to do that what you can do is first of all we're going to create two node groups so we're going to create node groups for leaves and node groups for the gra grass and other types of vegetation so i'm going to select the leaves over here and this is you don't have to follow along you can just add all, all of this manually but if you want to go faster and if you have a large scene and you want to go through it fast what you can do is first of all select the diffuse texture and move it on the left side and move the material output on the right side because we're not going to need those i'm going to left click and drag select everything in between so I'll select all of the nodes and then you click on Control g and then when you click on Control g it's going to create a node group so when we press on tap we're going to jump outside the node group and when we select the node group and press on tap we're going to jump inside the node group so i'm going to go outside the node group and first of all move these closer because they're way too far away now and now i'm going to select the node group and rename this to something like leaves underscore fancy so that we're more organized and we can find these better and when i select the other leaves for example the birch tree doesn't have the translucency and the back face calling so i'm going to select the birch leaves what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and select everything between diffuse and material output. Click on X to delete. Now I'm going to plug the color into the surface of the material output. As you can see, it looks horrible. But what we can do is click on Shift A and then search for the node group we just created. So it was leaves underscore fancy. Select the leaves underscore fancy. Drag this over here. And now select the alpha. Drag this into the alpha. And then you can see we've applied the material pretty easily. So if I go inside, we have all of these nodes. We have the back face calling and we have the translucency as well. Now we're going to select the grass and do the same thing. So let's click and drag, select everything that's in between the diffuse texture and the material output. Click on Control G, click on Tab to go outside and rename the group to something like grass underscore translucent. And then I can select other vegetation and for example I have I think I have some flowers over here so I'm going to select one of the flowers for example and do the same thing so delete all of the nodes plug the color into the material output click on shift a search for grass underscore fancy or translucent drag this over here and drag the alpha into the alpha and there you go we have created the translucent flowers as well and we can do the same thing for all the other vegetation but if you don't want to create node groups, obviously you can add all of this stuff manually. And when you add all of this stuff manually, it's actually a lot better because then you're going to remember that stuff and then you're not going to forget. Now I'm going to render both images before and after and I'm going to compare. So there you go. We have the before and we have the after. You can see the after looks a lot better, more cinematic. There's more light shining through and it looks way, way better overall. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Be sure to give it a like if you liked it because it helps out a lot. Also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more weekly Blender and Minecraft animation tutorials. And also be sure to check out the description for all the other links I mentioned in the beginning. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.